stay in control and out of harm's way with Safal's Car Carrier Proportional Remote Control System. With a signal range of over 300 feet, the synchronized wireless handheld remote allows an operator to precisely control the functions on a car carrier with a simple turn of the wrist, while staying well out of the way of the moving parts and oncoming traffic. This essential tool for towing professionals can easily be installed on your car carrier or industrial carrier in just a few hours of work. Follow this step-by-step -step guide to install the complete remote control kit to your carrier. The first step is to install the actuator mounting bar assembly. This remote system was designed to be attached to the crossover tunnel on the passenger side of the car carrier bed. A minimum of 17 inches length of space is required behind the control station hood for proper installation. Now install the mounting tabs to the outside of the control rod crossover tunnel, close to the control station hood. Allow for a 2 inch gap between the center of the actuator mounting bar below the car carrier control rods. Use the mounting tabs as a template to mark two drill points. Drill two 7 16 inch holes on each side of the crossover tunnel. Install the two mounting tabs on either side of the crossover tunnel, but do not tighten completely. Place the actuator mounting bar through the mounting tabs so it aligns the two mounting tabs perpendicular and level to the control rods. Install carriage bolts, lock washers, and nuts to complete the connection of the mounting tabs to the crossover tunnel. Once that is complete, torque each nut to 30 foot-pounds. The mounting tabs must be secured tightly. Loose mounting tabs will result in system failure. Next, we need to install the C-bracket assembly. Loosely attach the C-bracket for each actuator to the designated control rod with the open end facing the actuator mounting bar. Measure 16 and 3 quarter inches from the center of the actuator mounting bar to the back side of the C-bracket. Make sure the C-bracket is positioned vertically so the actuator is parallel to the control rods. Tighten the U-bolts evenly and torque to 5 foot-pounds. The C-brackets must be secured tightly. Loose C-brackets will result in system failure. The next step is to install the clevis attachment. Thread the jam nut onto the actuator push rod. Make sure to thread the jam nut all the way to the end of the threads. Thread the clevis onto the actuator push rod. Make sure to thread the clevis up against the jam nut and torque the jam nut to 26 foot-pounds. Now you can install the actuator. With the wires facing down, slide the actuator onto the actuator mounting bar. Install the mounting bar retaining rings to each end of the actuator mounting bar. Manually pull or push the actuator push rod into position so the clevis aligns with the C-bracket hole. Confirm that the actuator push rod is at or near an extension of one and a half inches. Insert the clevis pin into the clevis. To prevent corrosion, place one plastic washer on each side of the C-bracket between the yoke of the clevis. The final step in this process is to hardwire the actuator. Locate a clear space on the side of the car carrier subframe, past the end of the chassis frame. Install a junction box which provides a connection point for the 12 volt power supply from the PTO activating wire, a ground, and 10 amp protected terminal to connect to the actuators. Actuators can be combined on a single ground or power terminal. The remote control system can also operate under a 24 volt system if needed. A junction box is not provided with the Safal kit. Run a 14 gauge wire from the PTO activation circuit to a terminal in the junction box so the actuators are live when the PTO is engaged. Connect the red wire from the actuator's 48 inch pigtail to a protected power terminal in the junction box and connect the black wire to ground. Do not eliminate the provided two-prong quick connector from the actuator pigtail when wiring. 
Also, wires cannot be reversed to change the direction of operation. The system will not work if the wires are reversed. After the SafeAll remote kit has been properly installed on your car carrier, it's time to synchronize and calibrate the handheld keypad and actuators. The first step is to prepare the remote and actuator for synchronization and calibration. Remove the battery tray cover by removing the four cover screws from the remote. Install a 9 volt battery and reinstall the cover. Press the green power button on the remote, which will illuminate the red and green LEDs, confirming functionality. After two seconds, the green LEDs will display the battery power level. Only one actuator at a time can have power when syncing. All of the other actuator's power sources must be disconnected. Connect only one two-prong quick connector at a time when synchronizing. Set the parking brake and start the engine of the truck. Engage the PTO. Activating the PTO provides power to the junction box. Shift the car carrier winch into free spool as it will activate during the sync process. Confirm that the area around the truck is clear of any obstructions. During the synchronization process, all bed functions will operate while synchronizing. Using the manual controls on the car carrier, extend the bed so it is clear of the front bed locks. The next step is to synchronize the handheld remote to the actuator. Select the desired function on the remote to synchronize. Hold both right and left buttons in the desired row for a period of 10 seconds. The green LED will turn off, then release the buttons. Once the buttons are released, the red LED will blink quickly. This indicates the remote is searching for the powered actuator. Once the handheld finds the actuator, the red LED will blink slowly, which indicates synchronization is in process. When the green LED illuminates a steady light, the synchronization is complete. If the green LED does not illuminate, repeat the last step. Keep the truck running and the PTO engaged for actuator calibration. If an actuator is removed from the mounting hardware after synchronization and calibration have taken place, the respective actuator must be resynchronized and calibrated upon being reinstalled. Now we can perform the actuator calibration. First confirm the area around the truck is clear of any persons or obstructions. Confirm that the bed is still extended, so it is clear of the front bed locks. Hold the remote in a horizontal position and rotate your wrist counterclockwise 90 degrees. Press and release the left button of the desired function. The remote will then engage the powered actuator until it reaches the maximum travel. Watch the corresponding control lever on the car carrier and verify maximum travel. Hold the remote in a horizontal position again and rotate your wrist clockwise 90 degrees. Press and release the right button of the desired function. The remote will then engage the powered actuator until it reaches the maximum travel. To synchronize and calibrate additional actuators, repeat these steps for each function. Before syncing additional actuators, make sure to disconnect power from already synced actuators. The actuator will remain synchronized and calibrated when powered off. The last step is to operate the remote. Engage the desired function by holding the remote in a horizontal position. Then press and hold the button of the desired function. Rotate your wrist counterclockwise to operate a function in the left column. The actuator will engage. The further the wrist is rotated, the further the control lever will travel and the speed of the function will increase. Likewise, rotate your wrist clockwise to operate the function in the right column. Disengage the function by releasing the button or return the remote to the horizontal position. This completes the SafeAll Proportional Remote Control System installation. Keep in mind this system allows you to install additional actuators as needed, up to a total of six functions. Just repeat these steps for each additional actuator installation. After synchronizing the handheld remote, you will be ready to take precise control of your carrier while staying out of harm's way.